you look at a snowboard, it's a pallet, you know, and it's a, it's a nice pallet, and it's a pallet that comes with an attitude, and the sport comes with an attitude. So it's kind of a cool thing to mix the two, you know, and I like to mix things and mix up cultures. And of course, all the snowboarders are hip hop fans. How could they not be? So, all right. Well, no one really did this at this level to bring in like really the heavy hitter artwork and put it on a company that I feel is respected from what I know in the snowboard world. Why not give it a, give it a run? We didn't really care. You know, and so we were, we were willing to sort of crash all the standards and all the, all the prerequisites. But I think people sometimes take the we didn't care attitude and think, no, we didn't care. No, actually, we didn't care what you thought about us. For me, it's a combination of things. Of course, I'm from the community, although I didn't necessarily grow up in the hood, you know, but I understood it completely, so I felt very comfortable in it. But it was a movement that was happening and I was a very technical photographer. In 1993, I'm shooting four by five portraits of Tupac and those guys. So my thing is like, okay, I can bring this technical photo skill into this space that no one was really shooting this way. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think all art forms have a bit of a similar trajectory, especially if they're art forms that come there to sort of disrupt what was there before. So snowboard disrupted skiing, Right? And hip hop disrupted everything, R&B, you know, <laughs> pop music, the whole thing at once, you know, fashion, everything at once, you know. So, yeah, when you're a disruptor, you have to be confident and believe in what you're doing, you know, because if not, you'll quit. I think with the, the four artists in this series, so Tupac, Biggie, um, Easy e and the Wu. Those are brands that, that are part of the foundation of hip hop. Each one has a different reason why. The Wu-Tang is the first time we really saw a true crew of that size, that each could rock individually, but came together to, to be one force. Easy e like he's the foundation of a lot of the whole West Coast sound. Biggie, you know, held down Brooklyn, you know, a lot of love, short life, brilliant lyricist, could tell you a story like no other. And then Tupac. Tupac transcends everything. He is the one that will leave the generation, like the iconic figure. That's the one. <laughs>